What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 7 to the Sky. So guys, last episode, we did some stuff over here with making some obsidian and void upgrades and these machines to like auto hammer stuff and it's working pretty slowly, but it is working. We're getting some diamonds and some emeralds, which is pretty cool. I've been moving those over here. We're up to 40 emeralds. Uh, I did want to trade with this guy. We need five more emeralds to do that though. Yep, five more emeralds and then we can get this efficiency five mending fortune four unbreaking five pickaxe, which would be pretty cool. If for nothing else, just to have a fortune for now until we get into tinkers or something like that for those kinds of things. So, yep, that's something that I've been thinking about. Uh, over here at the mob farm, we are still running into the problem where <laughs> things are backing up. I just got done clearing out like all the non-stackable things and everything else is sorting into our storage system here. Uh, but yeah, it was brought to my attention in the comments, not last episode, but the episode before that uh, functional storage has an item called a linking tool. Now, since this mod is mimicking storage drawers, I assumed that the controller would just talk to connected drawers that it's touching. And apparently that's not the case. You need this thing and you have to explicitly tell the controller which drawers it's controlling. So in order to make one of these, we need to get ourselves some paper. So we need five paper, a drawer, two gold, a diamond. So we should have all of that, two gold, diamond, uh, we need a drawer and then we also need that should work uh, And then we also need some paper and I don't know if we have any paper made I know we got sugar cane, so that shouldn't be a problem. We'll, we'll just make some a paper There we go. So linking tool Let's make this thing and check it out. I haven't checked this thing out. I just saw After I was told about it. I saw it was a thing swapped action to add swap action to remove So we add okay um, let's see how this works. So if I do this and I right click this, shift right click, swap to multiple, single, multiple, but I left click, right click. Ah, okay. Remove add. Uh huh. Okay. So I got to go through and click each one of these things. Oh, wait a second. It's like drawing a box. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And then what do I do? I click on this again. I think we're done. Okay. I think that's telling me that the controller knows about all of this stuff. Now, if that's the case, I should be able to pop these tubes off. Hope they just got put into here, didn't they? I should be able to do that and attach it right to here and things should just go in. Glowstone. I don't think these have a home in there, do they? Yeah, it looks like items are just going in. So all the extra pipes that we have on the back, no longer necessary. So that's awesome. I can go ahead and free up all of this stuff, collect all these items back. All right, very good. So we learned something new about these drawers. Um, I'm not sure why the mod author decided to make a mod very similar to storage drawers, but like completely change this up. I'm sure it must have been for a very good reason. But I have no idea why. It confused me anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me go ahead and clean this all up and then we will move on. All right, so one thing that I wanted to do here, we're going to make a trash can. So I need three stone. What else do I need? I need a chest and then five cobblestone. Chest and five cobble. Where's our cobblestone? It's over here somewhere. Five. All right, found it. So we got all of this. And like a so, like a so, like a so. Okay. And then I have the pipe wrench on me as well. Uh, we're going to change up the way this works. We were trying to work towards another item previously, but yeah, we're doing something different here. Uh, I need this back. So this, if I shift right click on there, no. Oh, I have to do an empty, empty hand. I can't, how do I, how do I, uh, can I not do it from up here? Do I have to, okay. I think I might have to go into water. Uh, this is a little scary, actually. Let me do this. I don't know if the mobs can not see me, but I want to make sure they don't see me. So we're going to go down into the water here. 
And shift. Okay, hold on. Let me grab some air. Nope. Okay, so we got that on the bottom. And then I right click on that. I can put this upgrade into there. So what I want to do is set this thing uh, distribution nearest first. All right, so that's what we're doing. So this is extracting out of the bottom of the chest, coming over here and hitting the storage drawer, right? So that's the first thing that it goes into. And then it continues on back here. So one more block further. And then we're gonna go into a trash chest. Okay. So what that should do is uh, any gear that we get, anything that's not stackable that doesn't have a home should go into the trash chest. Like that sand that I just collected. <laughs> And then everything else should go into the storage drawers. Um, so yeah, it looks like we have some redstone here. Let's just verify that. So if I put some redstone in there, looks like the redstone went right back in. And then we should no longer back up on any of the non-stackable stuff. But that also means if we get anything else, like potions from witches that we might want or something like that, they're just going to get deleted. But... Everything else that we want, we'll just keep getting a constant stream, and that's going to make everything better for now. We'll upgrade that, and we'll change it later as we need to. Another quality of life item I would like to make right now is an ender pouch, right? Ender pouches and ender chests are very, very nice, but this way, I could have it on me, put my important things in there. If I die, fall off the edge, whatever, we just make another ender pouch. All my stuff is there, right? Okay, so we need four blaze powder. Uh, three leather. I think we have, yeah, we got the leather blaze powder. Actually, I think is in this chest as well. Uh, four blaze powder that, uh, three leather. We need wool. So four string, which I think all of it now is over at the mob farm. Let's come over here and grab some string. All right. And then we need an ender pearl. And I think we get that from converting, is it four gold or four iron? I cannot remember. Let's take a look at the recipe here. So in order to make that, it is four iron plus the Philosopher's Stone. So we can easily do that. Uh, we don't have enough loose iron. I'll make some more. And then we need the Philosopher's Stone. So this guy. That, that, boom. All right. So now that we have that, we can make ourselves an ender pouch. And then I can put things like my Philosopher's Stone in there. Some pipes, my hammer, uh, this pipe wrench. This thing, yep, all the tools that I will definitely want, we can leave it in there. Also, uh, building stuff, this thing, the building gadget, we throw that in there. Uh, what other stuff do we have in here? These wands, maybe, I don't know. Um, we have this iron ore hammer, basically any sort of a tool that I have used. Void upgrade would probably be good to keep in there, these pipes as well. Uh, vector plates, not so much. Yeah, I think that's probably a good start anyway. So we can throw all of these things in there. Uh, maybe another thing that we want is like a bed. We could put another bed in there. I'd have to go get some more wool. Uh, is there sleeping bags? There are sleeping bags. Oh, wow. Okay. From the comforts mod. So we need, uh, three wool. Well, let's do that. I'm curious how the sleeping bag works. I assume it's just a bed with doesn't set your spawn point. But this is a mod that I haven't used before, so don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, we gotta wait for nighttime, I assume, before we can use it. Uh, so there's this. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Three wool makes a sleeping bag, but that just turned into wool slabs. What the heck? Uh, recipe conflict, it looks like. So is there a way for me to fix that? If I do this, am I going to get orange sleeping bags? Uh, crafting, crafting, automated crafting. Dang. Um, okay. Not sure what we can do about this. All right. Well, I tried making the wool green to see if that would do anything to get us some uh, sleeping bags, but it, no, no, it still didn't work. So I ended up making just a green bed. Man, eh, it'll work. We can throw it on the ground, sleep if we need to. And then we always have one on us, a place to sleep. So that's going to work for me. It's unfortunate we couldn't make the sleeping bag. I did look at different things. 
um, different types of crafting to see. I know forestry had something. I don't think forestry is even in this. Is it? No, it doesn't look like it. I know forestry had like a, I think it was called a workbench or something where uh, you put your crafting items in and then it had little buttons and you could choose different recipes that that same crafting recipe turned into. And that was a way around it in a previous pack, but yeah, not in this one. Um, anyway, so next thing I wanted to work on, I was noticing that our storage is uh, quite full and we got a lot of raw materials here and we are not really doubling any of these ores. We've been using the ore hammer to sometimes turn like certain things into double ones, into dusts and stuff, but that's not gonna work long term. So I think it is now time for us to take a look at the smeltery. Mm -hmm. So I was looking here, if we search for iron, for instance, we look at the uses and we click back on this tab and go to melting, we can see uh, molten iron is what we get from one of these raw irons. In a melter, we get one ingot and three nuggets. In the smeltery, we get two ingots. So that's what we're looking for. This uses lava for fuel, and we have plenty of lava. Plenty, plenty, plenty of lava. We can make this all day long for free. We have plenty of lava to power that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's get into Tinker Smelt. Uh, so we are looking for, I guess the seared bricks are the first thing that we want, these things. So let's uh, bookmark that, bookmark this. And we come over here, and in order to make that, we have to make grout and smelt that down. And grout is made from sand, gravel, and clay. All of these things we can make. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a whole bunch of seared brick, I suppose. Uh, that way we can start up our smelting process here. Uh, we'll put these furnaces to use, give them a little bit of use here. Uh, we're also going to need a smeltery controller which looks like, oh, uh, appears that we have to do the melter. Oh, uh -huh. let's see here, there is. Yeah, in order to make the controller, we have to have molten metal already. So let's take a look at the melter. Maybe we have to take a step back here. Uh, seared melter. So this is some seared brick around a seared tank. First smeltery, place a above a tank or a heated heater to fuel. Okay, well, we need to make one of these. So anyway, we're back to the seared brick. Uh, we need a bit of soul, seared brick for this and some glass. Let me go ahead and make some things. We'll be right back. All right, so as I was crafting up some of those components, we're getting tasks complete. And I saw that there is actually this Tinker's Construct section. I think we looked through this previously. Uh, but yeah, I forgot that this was even here. So, uh, gathering grout. So, we made one grout, or I guess 32. That's going to give us eight more and some XP. We're going to claim those. Uh, throw it in the furnace. We wanted 32 seared bricks. going to give us eight more and 10 XP. Very good. So, this wants us uh, understanding smeltery parts. This is optional. Uh, okay, and I assume these are all optional as well. That's just free XP, essentially. Awesome, single use, reusable. Wants us to make the ingot cast. This one wants us to make a blank sand cast. Okay, well, those are some things that we can do. Uh, so the first smeltery quest wants us to have the seared melter, which we just made, a seared fuel tank. Three seared faucets for some reason. I'm not sure why three. I only see two in the picture and you can reuse those for your smeltery. I'm not sure why it wants to make three, but that's fine. Uh, seared casting basin. Seared casting table. So the casting basin is like a so. The casting table like a so. Uh, the seared faucets, it wants three of those. Oh. Well, I just made three times that. You get three seared faucets now for this recipe? I guess that's why I want you to make three of them. Okay, one craft. Well, we got a bunch of these. Uh, my mistake. <laughs> it's always been three uh, seared brick for one of those in the past. And then seared fuel tank. That is something we, uh, we don't have glass for because I made just enough for our smelter. Or our melter, I guess is what it's called. So there is a sand we need to stick that, that, boom. All right, so that'll go ahead and craft up. 
So, uh, besides that, we need a lava bucket. Do we have any extra buckets? I know we had some buckets before, and then I think I used them for something. I have no idea what I used them for. Okay, well, we'll just make a new bucket. Boop, boop, boop. Bucket. I need... I was making uh, some dust using this. This is real easy. I'm sorry, I was making some uh, clay out of the dust. It's real easy to do this, just a double right click. Uh, I didn't have another hopper, otherwise we could have like more automated that, and then if you can pipe water into this, you can fully automate it. But anyway, uh, we're getting a little <laughs> off subject here. Let's see, can I grab lava out of this? There we go. Alright, there's our lava bucket task. And this should be done. So now we should be able to do one of those. Sweet, quest completed, your first smeltery. That's gonna give us 16 more seared brick, another lava bucket, and 100 XP. Awesome. Okay, so understanding smeltery parts, yeah, that's unlocked now. Mighty smelting, uh, we get that, first of all, by smelting down some seared brick and pouring that onto a book, so that'll be something that we'll have to do. But first things first, let's go ahead and set this thing up. So we need the seared fuel tank somewhere. I guess we're gonna put it over here. Uh, the smelter, right, we need some lava all up in there, got our buckets back, uh, so we need a place to cast out ingots, a place to cast out, uh, blocks, so your faucet on either side, I think that looks basically like the picture showed, right? Whoops, I just pinned that, I don't know how you pin something. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, we have that, that, seared faucets, everything looks about like in the, the picture, so that's all good. Uh, so if we right click on this, we have three slots that we can put stuff in, and we want to make the mighty smelting book, so I'm just going to go ahead and melt down a seared brick. I think that should give us enough to pour onto something. Yeah, one brick's worth of stuff, and now we need to make ourselves a book, so that would be a leather and a three a sugar cane. Like so, and this, this. And that should give us our mighty smelting book. That is everything that we need to know, at least at the start, uh, for Tinkers. How, how do you change the page? Right click. Oh. Oh, wow, that's really hard to see. Okay. Uh, so introduction. Tinker's Anvil, all the basics that you need to know about Tinker's Construct. I'm sure a lot of us have seen this before. I'm not really liking the uh, the black and black for these arrows. Down here it's fine, but up here, I don't know, it kind of like blends in with this little doohickey on the side. Um, entity Melting. So is this going to give us blood? Seared Stone from Silverfish, Emerald from Villagers and Illagers. Skeletons give you milk. That's interesting. Perhaps there are even more to discover. I bet uh, JEI or uh, whatever will show us. <laughs> if we search for milk, just out of curiosity, does it show we get it from smelting? Melting here. Skeleton skull, stray skull. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. I bet we could go through here somehow and find all the different things if we were so inclined to do that. Anyway, so that's all done. Mighty Smelting is done. That is some more XP, and that's going to make our way over here to making the smeltery controller. So to make that, we need four ingots of copper. Okay, so let's get some copper. Four ingots of copper. That should actually be uh, just two of those, I believe. Each one of those should melt down into two copper ingots each and then we'll have four and then uh okay let's go back to tinkers smeltery controller so we need a seared brick okay that's easy enough so we'll just take one of those like so like so that goes right into here we uh oh oh ho, ho, right the melter gives you fewer pieces of copper okay uh, we're actually gonna need a little bit more than that. I was thinking you'd double it, but no, that is incorrect. So I'll just go ahead and waste a little bit of copper here. Actually, I think 
I think one more ingot would have done it because you get one in three. Yeah, that would have made four. We're going to have one in three remaining. Anyway, so we will pour the copper onto this seared brick, and this should make our controller. And then I don't think we're ever going to have to use this setup again. So it feels kind of silly having to make all of this just to make the controller, but it is what it is. Okay, so back to this. Get that, get that. And now it wants us to do Mighty Smeltery. So yeah, we need the Seer Drain. We need another... Well, we can uh, salvage the Lava Tank from our Melter here. All of this looks pretty standard as far as Tinker's Construct goes. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. So let's just place the controller down. And then we need to make a bunch of these bricks. So it's like nine of these for the bottom, and it's three, six, I don't know, it's like 14 or so. I guess it really depends. Uh, let's take a look at the seared drain. That is two copper, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna melt down a bit more copper in here. Oh no, we have some copper, we don't have to melt down anything. So we can just craft that directly. So we're gonna want two seared drains. Uh, we have plenty of the faucets. Uh, the other thing is we need the tank, and I think we should be good to go. All right, so let's start placing these things down. So that's the controller there. We're going to have to move that. You guys want to know something silly? You can mine the smeltery controller with a stone pickaxe. You can mine sear drain with a stone pickaxe. You cannot mine seared bricks with a stone pickaxe, or a casting table, or as I found out, the casting basin. I don't understand, doesn't make sense to me, but okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't do the faucets either. You need level gold, apparently. Well, here's our smeltery all set up. So we have a seared drain on the left with a casting basin, seared drain on the right with a casting table. We have the lava in the back over here, and eventually we will set up an automated way to get lava into this. In fact, we could probably do something since we do have the Ender Chest mod in here. There, it should be the uh, Ender Tank. So if we make one of these, oh, we can't make it. We have no way to make blaze rods as of right now. But if we were to make this, we could just uh, pipe in lava from over here, right? Just have the Ender Tank sitting on this pipe and then have another ender tank over there extracting into that, and then we always have lava. Mm -hmm. So that'll be something that we'll have to do. How do we get ourselves blaze rods at this point? We're kind of going off on another direction here. It's fine. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look to see molten cores. I don't think there's any way that we can turn uh, blaze powder into the blaze rods. These do have EMC, but we don't have access to anything really EMC yet. Blaze Prediction turns into 10 of those. Ah, Metal Press will turn the Blaze Powder into Blaze Rods. So this might be a reason that we get into Immersive at some point. Uh-huh. Maybe, maybe next time, maybe next time. Blazing Blood. You get blaze blood from smelting a blaze. Yep. Okay. Don't think that's something that we can do just right yet. Anything else in here that's interesting to take a look at? Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So it looks like in order to turn the powder into the rods, we need to get ourselves a metal press. And that is a multi-block structure, which is going to take a little bit of effort to get into. And I think we're... Uh, too far into today's episode to try and do that. Okay, so now that we have the smeltery set up, the next thing that we can do is expand it and make it bigger, right? That's a thing. Um, so we can make this two layers, like so. Very good, so now we got extra room. Uh, so the thing that I wanted to do was start taking some of our resources that we have over here. Well, I guess, for instance, we have iron on me, so we can just throw that in here. The smeltery should double it. So what do we have in there? We have 18, so we should get 36 ingots when that all melts down. And then we can turn that into blocks directly with our casting basin. So that'll be quite nice, but it does take a while for the iron to cool down. So it's going to be kind of a, a time thing here. We got uh, four blocks. Doesn't say ingots, but I'm pretty sure that's 
36. Anyway, so we'll have uh, a bunch more coming out. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and start melting down some resources here. Try and compact some of our space, get them into blocks and things like that. And then we'll be back. Well, I smelted down all the iron. We turned them into blocks. I threw some of those back in our chest behind me, but we have one ingot left over. And I think this is probably a good time for us to make ourselves a reusable ingot cast. So uh, I melted down one gold ingot in there and we can use a seared brick, something cheap, or we could use like a piece of iron, basically any ingot. Uh, I think a, a regular brick works too. Uh, so you want to click the gold, make sure that's the bottom one. That'll, and this, you can see that turned to gold. If that is the iron, then you see that all turns red. That's kind of cool, a visual thing. That's uh, in one of the more recent versions of Tinker's Construct. And there we go. So now we have ourselves an ingot gold cast, which we can use multiple times. So we'll just pour some iron in there. And when that cools down, we will have an iron ingot. Awesome. Okay, so we got that all done. There is another block of iron. And all of our iron has now been smelted. I also just remembered that the smeltery can be automated in a pretty simple way. Yep. Um, yeah, you just turn a lever on. The seared faucets are smart enough that says, hey, I got a redstone signal. I can just keep pouring, right? So you pour that into the casting basin, put a hopper underneath that, put that into a chest. Boom, fully automated. Just make sure you get all your ores in here, all the melted stuff, and you're good to go. All right, well, we're finishing up on the last bits of things that need to be smelted here. It's taken a while, but I've gone through all of our different ores that we had and smelted them all down. I took basically all of our blocks of ores that we had in here and all of the raw material. Yeah, and then we're smelting it down. I'm going to keep the blocks over here, I think, just for space saving. Yeah, so we have a little bit of extra room in here. All the loose ingots and all the nuggets and stuff are going to go into this chest. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with these blocks of different minerals and stuff. We'll figure that out as time goes. We'll probably be in digital storage by the time that becomes any kind of an issue. But yeah, we're just finishing up here. We're doing uh, our aluminum that we have remaining and then a little bit of osmium. And then I'll wrap it up for all of our different ores that we need to get smelted and doubled. And we'll be sitting pretty good, I think. All right, guys, we're going to go and wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.